What's up guys, Chris from Review Cave here, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys with my review of Black Clover Chapter 246. And after the awesomeness of last chapter's fight between Yami and Dante, this was another good chapter in my opinion. It wasn't action-packed, but it was necessary for the plot progression as well as what, can we, what can, we can see next and Dante's overall plan. Which, not like super impressive, but also not a bad evil plan. So yeah. Anyway. So, this chapter starts off with us in Asta's mindscape with this with Asta surrounded by his uh, the demon in his grimoire all warped and stuff like that with all the negative thoughts he had in his mind once Dante uh, pierced ghosts like I'll kill you, I'll kill you, I'll never forgive you. I you will pay for what you're for what you've done. I was like, what the hell's what what's going on? And then he wakes up, he finally regains consciousness. He's like What's going on? And he's like, oh, right, Gosh. Looks like he's okay now. And he's like, Captain Yami? He's shocked to see Captain Yami. We get that cool shot from before where Yami managed to slice uh, Don Dante with his EI slash. And then Yami explains that when he uses his mana zone, it condenses the mana. And when he, when he uses the EI uh, one sword sl quick draw slash technique, it never misses. Which explains how Yami managed to get that hit off of Dante. And while, while Asta was really fast, he wasn't able to hit to give a, give Dante a good hit in. Which is great. And, and then we fully see Dante start go, getting going a little you know, losing going off his going off his rocker. He's like he's like, yes, 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 yeah, blah blah blah. It's like I never had thought I would have to use this magic. And then all of a sudden his wound's starting to heal up, and then he, you get this weird mark on his chest. No one knows what kind of magic he's going for. He's like, thank you, Yami, I have not been, I, for all, for everything that you've done for me with all this, with this new malice, all these new negative emotions, envy, wrath, uh, pride, I believe. I, be, I believe those were, the, those were the sins that he was mentioning. But yeah, Yami's like, yeah, what, whatever, dude, stop, stop it. Just, just stop being like that. You know, be a nice, cool, calm, cool, and collective. But then Yami asks the important question. You said I was going to link the this world and the underworld. What would happen if, let's say, this actually uh, was went off without a hitch? And then Dante reveals that he, um, uh, de demons from that world will just pour into this, into their, into theirs. Bringing all kinds of depravity and malice and everything, and he needs something called called the um, uh, tree of Quillifat. I can't. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't. I really don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But it does look look like something you'd see in like. Uh, I, I, I does have some. I can't remember where I saw that image from, but I think it has something to do with. I know it's got like some kind of religious connection or maybe alchemy also. But anyway, going back to that, he says that in order for his plan to work, he needs two types of arcane stage magic. Dark magic, Yami, and world tree magic, Vengeance. He literally says that, I need you, Yami Sukihiro, and, y and William Vengeance in order for this to, you know, to work. Yami's like, he knows about Vengeance. So, with that said, that's pretty much this whole thing, this whole interaction is basically Dante explaining what's going on and then using more power. And we could see the conclusion of this fight in the next chapter. But then, after Yami's like, I'm going to have to stop you, I'm not going to let that happen, we cut to the Spade Kingdom, the capital, the, the actual castle, surprisingly. We hear some of the Spade Kingdom mages being like, Oh man, I can't believe even though now that we're dark disciples, we have to be stuck here. We don't have to go to the battlefield with everyone else. And then we get that there's a rumor that there is a Clover Kingdom spy in the Spade Kingdom. Now, we are, we're like, a spy? But who would the spy be? And then, we do get to see one of these Spade Kingdom mages like walk into Dante's room. He's like, you, what are you doing in, da in Lord Dante's room? We see a hooded figure, and we get to see their eyes, see their eyes like, hmm. And then he's, uh, and then this guy, and then this guard tries to attack him, 
or her. I have no idea who this person is. And then, all of a sudden, they're like dragged into a portal down below, and they disappeared. And then he's he's gone, just gone. So it's possible the person uses spatial magic, but Fenrir is still is still with Yami, so he can't be Fenrir, and he doesn't look nearly as cool. So with that, we do get some a nice um, uh, panel with Dante's room, and then we get footsteps, and then as the chapter ends. His robe moves over, and we see the Black Bull's logo, or the, or the Black Bull's symbol, which means the person there is a member of the Black Bulls. But who could this member be? Because right now, every member of the Black Bulls is accounted for, except for Zora and Magna. Now, as much as I love those guys, I don't think they'd pull, be able to pull off the uh, spy angle. Zora, maybe. But definitely not Magna. But this could also be a brand new character. It's very possible this is a very brand new character. Because we all know that every uh, Magic Knight squad has a vice captain along with the captain. So, could this new character be the, the secret vice captain of the Black Bulls who has been gone from this point, from, from the entire story? Could this be an entirely new character that's been a part, that became a member of the Black Bulls? We have no idea. No, for all we know, it could just be Julius. It could just be Julius, for all we know. But, regardless of all this, the idea of a spy in the Spade Kingdom that is also a black bull raises a lot of questions and possibilities. Because this, per this spy was looking at notes on Dante's desk. One of them looked exactly like the symbol used by the elves to open up, to, open up the, to create the Shadow Palace, to open that thing up, which helped with, the, with Zagred's plan to manifest his physical body. So, for all we know, Dante's going to use that sim that similar thing along with words, uh, world tree magic and dark tr and dark magic. He manages to capture Yami as well. But who knows? Now, this new spy really raises up a lot of questions. We have no idea who this person is. I mean, if it's Zora, I can believe that Zora could Zora can most likely pull off um, the spy angle. I mean. But then again, you never know. But yeah, that's really all that's left. That's pretty much everything from this chapter of Black Clover. We, we pretty much, we're, we're right now we're at a turning point in the fight between Dante and Yami where Dante's using some new magic power that he hasn't used at all. For all we know, he could go up to 80% of his match, of his demon's power in the next fight and try and just decimate Yami. Because I mean, Yami already had a hard time fending off Dante's attacks with a combination of key reading and monozone. So if Dante goes, becomes even stronger with this new type of magic, Yami will be in trouble. And Asta is like, while he, he, he gained, regained consciousness, the fact that his demon lost full control, his body is def, definitely looks like it's in a lot of pain. And Vanessa and Gray can't really do anything, and Ghost is unconscious. Finro probably won't be able to teleport them out of there because of Dante's gravity magic. is able to um, uh, alter space and everything. So yeah. That is something that I am concerned about. But yeah, this this is a real, this was a good chapter for Black Clover. I'm impressed. This a lot of these recent arcs for every every manga I'm reading right now have been really good. So Black Clover is no exception. So whatever happens, I am looking forward to it. I I want to see more of the inner workings of Asta and his demon. Have them have a conversation. I was honestly kind of hoping to have. Us to have some sort of conversation with this demon after being knocked unconscious. Well, we can see that later down the road, I guess. Maybe you can get a reveal of Asta's backstory later down the line. But remember, we still after what's going on, we're probably going to finish off everything with Dante and Yami, and we'll probably cut to uh, the attack on the Heart Kingdom with uh, Vanika, with uh, the power of Vigicula, and Noel will have to face off against that and against that member of the Dark Triad. But yeah, that's pretty much everything for this chapter. This chapter of Black Clover. I'm really looking forward to the next one. Well, what did you guys think? Was this a good chapter? Do you think it was, there was too much info dump in this, or do you think that it was just the right amount? What do you think of Dante's plan? I mean, it, it's kind of to be expected, but nah, it, uh, it's not a bad plan. I don't think it's a bad plan. It's not too lazy, and by the method of using it, it's not something super complicated for what he needs. So, makes this, uh, we'll make this arc not too long. 
And what do you think of the reveal of a Black Bull being a spy in the Spade Kingdom to relay information to the Clover, Clover Heart Alliance? Leave it down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, if there's anything you want, if, if there's anything you want me to, to talk about, any kind of manga you want, manga or anime you want me to review, leave it down in the comments. And hope you guys have an awesome day.